Guess what? I didn't make it out to my parents' place. We've been experiencing snow squalls off and on, and uh, the highway down towards where they live, they are getting a bit more accumulation than we are here in St. John's. We're getting snow squalls as well. It's just, uh, they're a little lighter, but uh, the ones down on Bjorn right now are a bit heavier. So I don't really want to risk getting caught in a snow squall. It's not so much, it'd be easy enough to get to a snow squall, pull over to the side of the road and wait it out. But you never know who's coming at you from the other direction through that snow squall. And they probably can't see where they're going either. So I'm not gonna risk it. I am going to sit here and drink my coffee right now and uh, watch some news and catch up on social media. Changed my mind. Me and my dog are going to finish off the last episode of Upload on Prime. Wait five minutes and it will be sunny again. Yeah, this is our snow squall. Looks like I gotta go get my uh, garbage can back. Not the best weather for driving in, so I probably made the right choice by staying home. Plus nine yesterday, not today. You gonna do your pee? Oh. No. You're disappointing me. It is now meditation time. Come on, Sam Harris. Love that app, the Waking Up app. I've been using it for a couple of years, and uh, I highly recommend it. Anyway, that's where I'll be for the next 11 minutes. Happy Sunday. I made it through the weekend. Well, almost. Still got Sunday to get through yet, I guess. I didn't uh, record any clips yesterday on Saturday. Saturday was a bad day for me. I was just agitated, restless, in a very down mood, and, uh, and there was nothing I could do about it. So there was no videos for it. I was just, I'd sooner throw the phone yesterday than uh, hit record on it, so that's why. I, there's nothing from Saturday. Saturday just vanished. It's gone. Thank God. Guess what I'm doing? Putting the tire back on. So far, so good. Tire is on and she's all twerked. All finished. Well, aside from that tire, I didn't do much today. I did quite a bit of reading, actually. It was nice, several hours. Um, going through the motions, that's all I'm doing. But I spent several hours reading that book uh, Fairy Tale by Stephen King. And I'm enjoying it, but don't ask me what it's about.
I don't want to be out of bed yet. I'm not ready for today. I don't want to face today. I just, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be one of those days I can feel it. And it didn't start off right. Neighbor's dog out there yapping on the porch. Oh, man, I'm going to strangle that someday. Just kidding. I wouldn't do that. I figured I better say that before somebody gets the wrong impression. So here we are, Monday morning, and uh, I'm already in a Monday morning mood, even though I'm not even working. Yeah, I guess Mondays can still make the uh, semi-retired or medically retired uh, moody as well. <laughs> Must be it. Figured I would come out and medicate for a bit in peace and quiet, but that bloody dog is out. Driving me nuts. And when they are small, and wonder is all they know, I will read them old stories, the ones that start once upon a time. There, I finished a book. Just watch how this drawer opens. It sticks, it's stuck. It's been like that forever. Bottom one is the same. Been like it forever. I am considering Getting this style, track for it. It looks easy enough to put on, but I am extremely intimidated by it right now. Those drawers have been like that for several years now, and, uh, and I just keep ignoring them. I was in the process of trying to motivate myself, psych myself up to go to the hardware store and pick up what I needed, but I'm, uh, I don't know if I'll get out there today or not. Feeling, I'm not feeling it. I was doing okay this morning, but, uh, but now I'm just, uh, anxiety is way up again. Heart rate's up. You get those weird feelings almost like you can it's almost like a fainting type of feeling where you feel blood or something rushing through your limbs it's uh yeah i'm probably going to stay put today unless something changes i mean what if i did go and get the parts take it all apart install it all and it didn't fit right because things that worry me if you notice right in here you can see that that's been notched into the wood that right there intimidates the heck out of me like, I don't want to go cutting into wood I just want to screw those things on and 
have it work. And I don't feel comfortable in my abilities right now to be able to do that. I don't even know if I'll get to the hardware store and figure out what it is I'm looking for because all those sliders, they all look the same. I hate being useless. It's, uh, it gets to you. It gets to you quite a bit feeling useless. Like watching my wife the other day cleaning house and struggling with those drawers. And I'm just stood there staring at her like a lost puppy. Like there, there's nothing I could do. And, uh, and as a man, that might sound kind of sexist, but it's the kind of role that we're supposed to be in. I should be able to fix that kind of thing. And, uh, and I can't. <laughs> it's, uh, it's messed up. I don't know why it is, but it is. Time to go medicate and then I'm going to meditate for a while to see if that can settle me down. Cooler than I thought. All of my snow is finally melted. And we got a big storm coming Friday with upwards of a hundred centimeters, so I'm told. I definitely had more effective meditations than that one. Couldn't get present. I couldn't settle my mind. My mind was constantly thinking. And when you're meditating, you're just supposed to just acknowledge it and just let it disappear. But it was constantly running and running and running, thinking about the future. Like all I could think about is a like psychologist appointment tomorrow my psychiatrist appointment on Wednesday, my ketamine appointment on Thursday, a snowstorm coming on Friday. It's like my mind just won't stop going to the future or dealing with the past. I need it to be present because 
that's where it needs to be. That's where we live. There's no future. There's no past. It's just now. And my mind can't, uh, it just won't let me be in the now. Look at that day out there. Isn't it beautiful? And I'm trapped in the house. Be as simple as just saying, hey, just go, get out there. But it's not that simple. I wish it was, because I'd be gone. Well, I was going to start reading one of my ebooks on my Kindle. Guess I'll have to wait. Have you ever heard of covert modeling? It's a coping mechanism. mechanism. Uh, basically, if there's a task or something, you have the complete covert modeling. You would almost sit down and just visualize the task happening, like just working it out in your head in a sense. I don't know if that makes sense to you. It's just like visualizing beforehand in a positive light the task that you're about to complete or maybe the the route you have to take on your way to work it could be any of those things <clears throat> so i've been <clears throat> excuse me i've been using covert modeling to try and work my way through fixing my kitchen drawers but it's uh, it's not working so far i keep getting stuck I keep hitting these walls, these obstacles that just that I just can't clear. So, uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to be taking a pause on that and procrastinating for another bit. By the way, procrastination is kind of a coping mechanism. It's kind of more like avoidance. And I think that's where I am right now because my suds level is up in other words my anxiety is up so therefore i'm incapable of the task and i'm not even going to attempt it right now so i'm just gonna say goodbye task so holly it is holly is part of the mr mercedes trilogy actually there's more books than that in it now but it's uh, in a series by Stephen King. There's actually a TV series out called Mr. Mercedes as well that's based on the books. Now, again, don't ask me what the books are about. I just remember they're about a serial killer and, uh, and a detective who had to catch him. And that's pretty much all I remember about all the books and that's all I got going into this one. So this is almost like a standalone book and not part of a series for me because I don't remember the series anyway. So here we go. Yes, I left the house. Nice little day for a stroll. I finally forced myself out, so that's good. Not bringing this one home with me this time. Poor fellas think I got food, don't you? Hey. I got no food. Sorry. You don't care. That was my first walk in about 
four days, I think, maybe five. I can't remember. But I know the last one I went on with the dog was horrible because he was pulling and he was anxious the whole time. Just he wanted to get home, but he was better today. He was more relaxed and that relaxation that he had was contagious. It spilled over to me and uh, and it was a nice walk. The sun was nice. The snow was nice. The ducks were cool. It was a good walk. I'll leave it at that. And speaking of leaving it like that, I figure since it's on a high note, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you for watching so far and keeping up with me and supporting me and encouraging me along the way. It's, uh, it's really appreciated. Anyway, take care. Enjoy your week.